In this video, I'll be showing you how I made a telepresence robot using Arduino and a mobile phone which I used to buy stuff from nearby shops, pass things to my neighbors and friends house during this lockdown period while sitting in my home safe and sound obeying social distancing protocol. As you guys know, COVID-19 has become a global threat faced by people all over the world and unfortunately, it's still spreading like wildfire. COVID-19 can only be defeated with people's coordination. Social distancing is an important step that will help us to fight against COVID-19. This is done by reducing direct contact with people who may or may not be infected with COVID-19. So, it's always a better idea to stay in your home as long as possible. But we all are humans, right? We need supplies, buy stuff and sometimes interact with people in one way or the other. So, I decided to make a robot for doing all these things on my behalf. A robot that could go out and buy stuff from nearby shops, interact with my neighbors and friends. Like always, I'll be giving you complete instructions including the circuit diagram, the PCB files if you want to make a PCB, the codes and their explanations so that you can make one yourself. After watching it fully, do let us know in the comments if this type of robot can be made practical. If not, do let us know your suggestions on how we can make it practical. If you are a true fan of Arduino and robotics, make sure you check out our channel. There are a lot of DIY tutorials that's gonna be really interesting for you. If you want more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button below. Now, for this project, all I needed was a mobile phone, mobile phone stand, an Arduino board with Wi-Fi connectivity and L293 3D motor driver IC. The idea was to fix this mobile phone in front of the robot like this and turn on mobile data and hotspot. The Arduino will connect to this mobile network. We will use another mobile phone which will connect to the hotspot where we install an app using which we will send signals to the Arduino and control the robot. To get live video and audio feed, we will be using Skype call or Google Meet. Here, I will be using this 4 motor driven robot body. This one is made of aluminum and has a top roof. It has huge tires which will help it get over obstacles effortlessly. I used Ortium Designer to draw the circuit and design the PCB. It's a powerful tool which can be used to design and create our own PCBs for our project as well as complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. I will provide the link to the trial version in the description. Make sure you check it out. And here we are in Ortium Designer. I'll be providing voltage input at this point. I decided to go with a 12 volt lithium polymer battery. The voltage input is then fed to a 7805 voltage regulator. This voltage regulator converts and regulates voltage between 8 to 30 volt to a steady 5 volt DC power supply. This 5 volt is then connected to Arduino and L293D motor driver IC. But later, I decided to connect VIN directly to Arduino VIN pin. Since I have 4 motors, 2 on either side, I decided to connect 2 L293D motor driver ICs in parallel. This will double the current and will provide enough to drive 4 motors together. Input for the left motors that is input 1, input 2 and enable 1 will be connected to D4, D5 and D2 of Arduino whereas input 4 right motors that is input 3, input 4 and enable 2 will be connected to D6, D7 and D3 of Arduino. So basically this is the circuit. You can try it out on a breadboard and once you're done you can use it as search for the project or make your own PCB. I personally like PCBs. PCBs are neat and helps to get rid of all nasty wires hanging around. Once the circuit was finished, I designed a compact PCB using Altium where I can fix all the components neatly. Here, you can see, this is a 4-layer PCB but the components are placed only on the top side. And that's done. Now all you have to do is export the Gerber file. I ordered my PCBs from PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production and neat and tidy PCB assembly. To order a PCB from PCBWay, go to PCBWay website and fill in the basic board details in the instant order form. From there, you will be directed to a form where you can provide more elaborate board details. Update the board information in the PCB specification screen and in the next screen, we should be able to upload the Gerber file and submit it for a review. Once the review is completed, all that is left to do is add to cart, make the payment and wait for the PCBs to arrive. Once we get all the components and the PCBs, it's time for us to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components. After soldering, the PCB looks like this. Like I mentioned earlier, 
This robot is controlled using an Android smartphone using Wi-Fi. This is similar to a Wi-Fi robot using Arduino which I published a month ago. In order to control our robot, it should be connected to an active Wi-Fi network. You can either use your home Wi-Fi network or like I did, you can create a hotspot on your smartphone which is attached to the robot. The app we will be using to control our robot is called Rootset Wi-Fi Command Center. This is an app which you can use to create home automation and robotics projects using Wi-Fi. After installation, open the app and in the setup page, you can enter the IP address and port number of the robot and in the robot controller tab, you should be able to send commands to Arduino using these simple tab buttons. Now, let's get down to the software part. Into Arduino, I wrote a code that will connect to the Wi-Fi network created by the mobile phone attached to the robot and will listen to a particular port for incoming packets. Once it receives a command from the mobile phone, it will check the command and drive the robot accordingly. And this is my code. I will leave the link in the description. The first thing I did was include all the header files for this project. And this is where we enter the ESID and passphrase of our network. Before uploading, I had to make sure that this is the same as that of mobile phone hotspot. This is the port Arduino will be listening to for incoming UDP packets. These are the pins that I connected to L293D motor driver IC for controlling the robot. Here, we connect to the Wi-Fi network using predefined SSID and passphrase and set up a UDP listener in the predefined port. If there are incoming packets, we will save the packet contents to the variable packet buffer and print its value. Here, we will drive the robot depending upon the packets received. For example, when we receive a forward command, it will run the forward function. And these are the five functions forward, backward, left, right and stop which I used to send signals to L293D motor driver IC and drive the boat. Before uploading the code, I attached a mobile phone to the robot and turned on mobile phone hotspot. Once that was done, I uploaded the code to the robot's Arduino. Once the code was uploaded, I opened up the serial monitor and it showed the IP address of the Arduino. After that, I took another phone and connected to the same network. Now all I did was download the app, enter the IP address and port number of the robot, navigate to the robot controller and tap some buttons. And yes, I was able to control the boat by simply pressing the forward, backward, left and right buttons in the mobile phone. Then I started Google meeting on the phone attached to the robot and joined the same meeting from the other mobile phone using another account. Basically, the work was done. I was able to control the robot from my mobile phone and I could communicate with everyone in front of the robot using voice and video feeds. Now, let's take it outside for a test run. That was a really fun project guys, but there are limitations to it. Both these mobile phones must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So if I am going to nearby houses and shops, it won't be a problem. But if you are going far, the network will get disconnected. 
In order to overcome that, we can use online cloud services so that we can maintain the connection to the robot even without Wi-Fi connection using only mobile data. I used Arduino IoT Cloud to do that. Even though there was a delay, it worked flawlessly. I was able to drive the robot a very long distance. If you are interested, do let me know in the comments. I will upload another video for the full tutorial. So, let me ask the question once again. Is this robot really practical in our country? If you ask me, within our compound, nearby houses and shops, office complex, yes, we can make it practical. But if you are sending it out on streets over a long distance in a place like ours, there is a high chance that we will lose the mobile phone or even the whole robot. Do let us know your opinion in the comments. So let's see in the next video.